bringing a charge from infinity. So we have two charges, Q1 and Q2. Q2 is brought from infinity at constant speed and placed a distance r away from Q1. This is the y-axis, this is the x-axis, so it's brought along the x-axis. What is the change in the potential energy of the system? So I want to note that it is brought from infinity at constant speed, so we have an external force acting on this charge. So Q2 feels an internal force due to Q1, and assuming that Q2 is positive, this internal force is in our head direction. It is K Q1 Q2 over R square R hat. That's the Coulomb force. Now the external force we should apply should be in the opposite direction because we're bringing it closer to Q1 and it's coming at constant speed. So magnitude wise, it should be equal to the internal force. So the external force that we will apply here, F external is equal to minus K Coulomb constant Q1 Q2 over R square R hat. Okay. What is the final potential energy of the system final potential energy is the value of the potential energy at a distance r and the initial potential energy of the system is the value of the potential energy at r is equal to infinity what is the work done by this external force the work done by the external force must be equal to the change in the potential energy because the Kinetic energy does not change here and it's basically final potential energy U of R minus U at infinity. So let's calculate the work done by the external force. It is the electric field multiplied with Q2 in minus R hat direction. So this is basically uh, minus uh, K Q1 Q2 integral from infinity to R 1 over R square dot product uh, in minus R hat direction dot product with dr in R hat direction. The electric field due to Q1 is k q1 over r square in r hat direction and the dr displacement is dr in r hat direction so here dr will be negative because we're bringing it closer so we're going from infinity to r okay so uh, this will give us a minus k Q1, Q2, the integral of uh, 1 over R square is minus 1 over R. R hat dot R hat is 1, which will be evaluated between infinity and R. So this is basically equal to K Q1, Q2 divided by R, or we can say it's 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0, Q1, Q2 divided by R. Okay, so the potential at infinity, at R is equal to infinite, we define to be zero. That's our reference point. So the change in the potential energy then must be equal to K, Q1, Q2 divided by R. You can see that the work done by the external force here is positive because this is a repulsive force between Q1 and Q2. So if Q1 and Q2 are of the same sign, it's going to be a repulsive force. The potential energy increases
and the change in potential energy delta u is plus k q1 q2 divided by r all right now if they are of the opposite sign if q1 and q2 are of the opposite sign then the potential energy of the system will decrease then the potential energy decreases okay so it's going to be delta u is equal to minus k q1 q2 over r so let's not write this here okay so it's basically depending on the sign of these two charges if q1 and q2 are positive it's an increase in potential energy if they're of the opposite sign then this will be a decrease in the potential energy so in that case we can write uh, delta u to be minus k q1 q2 absolute value divided by uh, r okay now what is the change in potential from r equals infinity to the final distance r the change in potential energy delta v is minus integral infinity to r e dot dr so this is minus integral infinity to r k q1 over r square uh, in r hat direction dot dr in r hat direction so that's basically equal to plus k q1 over r so the potential that q1 creates at a distance r is k q1 over r and that is going to be the change in potential delta v is k q1 over r what is the change in the potential energy well, the potential energy delta u is once again q2 times delta v so q2 is subject to this potential change so that will be equal to k q1 q2 over r which is consistent with our previous answer so in summary we are bringing a charge from infinity to a distance r q1 is the source of our electric field it creates an electric field kq1 over r square in r hat direction it creates a potential kq1 over r at this uh, distance r and when q2 is brought from infinity to a distance r at constant speed by applying an external force it's brought so we basically apply a force the change in the potential energy of the system is equal to the work done by the external force it's minus the work done by the internal force internal force is kq1 q2 or r square r hat external force is the one that we apply that balances this force so that this charge keeps moving at a constant speed towards q1 so you can say that we have an impulse at the beginning so that this this gains a speed but then it moves at constant speed final potential energy is the potential energy at a distance r initial potential energy is zero that's uh, at infinite separation so u of r minus u at infinity is work done by the external force external force that product with displacement dr r hat where dr is negative because we're approaching so this is going to be uh, minus 1 over r the integral of 1 over r square from infinity to r that gives us plus k q1 q2 over r so this tells us that if q1 and q2 have the same sign potential energy increases opposite sign it decreases the potential is remember minus the integral from initial point to final point electric field dot product with dr uh, because electric field is minus gradient of the potential so this gives us k q1 over r for the potential created by q1 at a distance r when q2 is brought at this point sees this potential q2 times delta v is the change in potential energy k q1 q2 over r that is consistent with our previous answer